Hello, 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 and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Anna Krejci. I am owner and founder of Surroundings Polish Pottery, and Thursday evening I invite you to my kitchen. It is dark outside, <laughs> it is cold, and I hope you feel like you want to uh, make some comfort food. Uh, tonight I uh, choose one of the, my uh, favorite and go-to, you cannot mess it up. Uh, it's uh, nutrition, it's healthy, and it's easy to make goulash, uh, known as a, a Hungarian goulash. Hungarian goulash have a, a long uh, history and a long uh, association uh, to Polish culture. Uh, good evening, Loretta, good evening. Uh, and I'm gonna be talking about the dish and as you guys are coming in, please say hi. Good evening, Jacqueline. So how, what about the Hungarian goulash and Polish culture? Well, uh, we have an old saying, um, um, uh, Polish and Hungarian are two uh, friends, uh, one time for the sore, one time for the glass. So we are uh, uh, Polak and Hungarian to dwa bratanki, raz do szabli, raz do szklanki. So we fight a lot and we fest together a lot, we party a lot together. So hello Jane Deere, hello, hello everyone. So um, this is a long, 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 we are going back to 9th century uh, to first king of Poland. Uh, who know who was the first king of Poland? Uh, who of you know who was the uh, first king of Poland? I have to tell you that the name of the city which we love the pottery from so much, it is Paul from the name of the first king. So Bolesławiec, uh, it is uh, uh, the name of the city is from uh, first king of Poland, Bolesław Chrobry. Um, Poland have um, different size, different uh, map locations and have also uh, provinces in Moldavia, uh, have provinces in uh, Hung uh, Hungarian and all parts of Prague was part of Poland. It was a completely different map. So for some years, this part of uh, uh, Hang uh, Hungary was a, um, uh, was a part of Poland and uh, this is when the uh, uh, King Bolesław Chrobry put the uh, goulash to uh, the uh, kitchen menu. Uh, so it is a very easy uh, I hope you all gonna enjoy it. I hope it's not gonna be too long. I am going just to let you know that we have $99 uh, free shipping, minimum order $99 and it's free shipping. And we do have coupon code GULASH, G-U-L-A-S-H. Uh, buy one, get one 50% off on the balls from the ball uh, category in our app in our app only. So not on our website, on our app. So you can buy uh, uh, cereal bowls, you can buy soup bowls, they are some uh, cho chosen bowls, not all the bowls. Uh, so just look on this selection, get one, uh, buy one, get one 50% off, so you can serve your goulash nicely. So what I did, what we're gonna need, we're gonna need two tomatoes, and I just, as you guys know, I like to uh, get my, those are my leftovers, my last tomatoes from my garden, which I left at green. I have few of them and we have frost already, so I'm glad I picked them up. So I just um, uh, put some boiling water over those. And as you guys can see, I like, I look very thin tonight, <laughs> but attractive. A uh, tin is attractive. I am so tired. I have to tell you guys, I have to be the weather. Um, I really have to motivate myself to do anything. I don't want to do anything. I would like to sleep. So I am like, oh, do we have internet? Why? Oh my goodness, it's time for me to do it. Thank God I like to do what I do. <laughs> Otherwise, 
it will be just i don't know who feels that way it's that time of the year we really have to motivate ourselves to have beautiful sunny uh sunshiny day but it's cold and i just i don't know i cannot sleep at night i don't know it's the weather changing all right so i take the skin out from my tomatoes let me just get this off all right nice what i gonna need i gonna show you what i have prepared what we're gonna need i have giant onion chopped and you do not have to chop the onion very thinly. You want to chop the onion, just chop it. Uh, two, three onions, I have two big ones. If you will have what I have in here. Oh my goodness, let me just see what I have in here. Uh, it's still in a, Okay, if you will have onion big like that, I will use three. I have two big ones, like um, I use them all. I have like I have two big ones like that one so neither one or one and a half like that or uh, three to four a little ones like regular size you can buy at the grocery store so I have them chopped this is seven inch ball this is seven inch ball is almost full so this just gonna I'll show you um, what do we need I am going to take my big pan and I'm gonna make it hot because we are going to use it hot, hot, hot pan. So let me just start making this hot when I am going with ingredients. I do have half of a nice pack of bacon. Uh, this is a very nice, I, I was looking for bacon which have uh, some of the fat, you want the fatty part. Uh, so this is also six inch a ball from um, Ceramica Milena. So it's lots, it's a lot of that bacon. Look, it's more than half pack. So if you have suonina, which is uh, that fat part uh, from the on the pig skin, you would like that too. The part you will make uh, your um, smallets. One day we're gonna make smallets together. Together, but um, you want that. Uh, you want that uh, bacon, and I am going to put my bacon on my hot uh, pan. Oh, it's starting getting hot. You see, you can hear it, and you want this uh, bacon to melt it a little bit. There we go. We see how many balls I'm gonna use today. So you don't know how many balls you need to buy it, so you will not come short, right? So this is uh, this is one ball. All right. Where is my rack? It's in here. So as my uh, bacon is getting a little bit uh, nice and uh, melting, um, next thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add our onion. I also have I also have boneless beef stew meat. You can buy uh, a chopped um, shoulder blades and just carve the meat yourself. I want kind of easy, uh, and it's up to you if you want that meat to be about that big chunks, or I will kind of cut it on a uh, half like a smaller chunks. Smaller chunks, faster your meat going to, the goulash gonna be ready, and the flavor gonna be better too. And uh, it's not going to be, I mean, this is too big. I will cut like, um, I don't know, like inch, inch to two inch maximum, inch by inch, kind of uh, uh, squares. Um, so you want to have nice and uh, sharp knife. Uh, so this gonna go, um, we're gonna need uh, the meat as well. And what else you're gonna need? You're gonna need a nice cast iron um, uh, pan. If you have uh, as heavy and cast irony, <laughs> You can get it. Uh, some of those, the original recipe, 
Uh, the originally the uh, Hungarian goulash was made in a uh, cast iron um, pans which were kind of uh, shaped like um, little, uh, how you call it? How you call it for that shape? Like the Turkish hat. Um, Cory, what will be? I lost the word. Maybe somebody can help me with the word. Like, uh, so the bottom is more narrower. If you have it, awesome. If not, don't worry. This will do as well. So our, um, I am going to start that pen and make it hot as well. This is easy, guys. This is easy. And all house gonna smell lovely. Of course, you want your favorite, the oldest wooden spoon you have. I just mix it a little bit, so your bacon going to uh, stretch nicely. And when the bacon going to start uh, putting the uh, putting the um, and I gonna leave, I gonna let the pan get a little bit hot. And when the bacon gonna start to getting uh, that uh, juicy grease out, I gonna add my onion to it. So I am preparing my meat a little bit. See, I was feeling like I won't take a nap. Like I don't want to do anything today. <laughs> or I still have a bunch of emails to go through. It's just, I don't know. Feels like it's not enough time to do things. But um, we did process the brand new uh, part of uh, Zakwady collection, which you guys gonna have with second part of Ceramica Milena on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think you're gonna love it. Loretta, Dutch oven, yes. Like, um, but you know that shape, it is like, uh, what is that? Uh, like a cone. Oh, that's kind of word I was looking. But Dutch oven, if you have cast iron Dutch oven, that's fantastic. So as this uh, is getting hot, I am going to pour some of oil of oil, um, olive of oil, and I like to use the avocado. Oops, that's a little bit a lot. Yeah, that's okay. Just cover bottom of your pan. Here we go. You see, this is all getting nice. I am going to add my onion. So this was the bowl number two I use. Buy one, get one 50% off, guys. Use coupon code GOULASH. They are the soup bowls and they were cereal bowls. They are not all the bowls, not all the bowls are on sale. On sale. We do care only for quality items, so it's no reason to have things on sale all the time. But when we have fun, I like to spread the joy, joy a little bit and... Uh, and make you uh, be ready and have all the accessory we need it, right? So um, we're gonna do lots of baking, lots of cooking um, very, very often lately. And welcome everyone who are coming. If you can say hi to me, I see my friend Pantadeus, I see Chris. If you can say hey, say hi to me, I will really up. There we go, that's a Chris in here. Was looking for the show and my phone went dead. Oh no, I hope, I hope, I hope you have charger, a charger uh, close by. So what I gonna do with my uh, with my onion right now? I am going to add to my onion. I have a very nice marjoram. I gonna add, you know, in Polish cooking na oko, just nice full uh, a hint of the marjoram. There we go. And my onion in here is still my oil in here is still not ready to put anything else in but what uh what i'm gonna put next to it and this is my family hello miss uh this is my family recipe 
we put uh, um, stems of um, celery and not um, and I was looking just around uh, for the um, for the recipes and I didn't find the celery but we do that hello John and uh, how are you doing tonight tired but <laughs> I'm excited because you guys motivate me not to snooze in my chair all evening. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I have hard time lately to, I have hard time to sleep through the night and hard time to stay up at the afternoon. So uh, I am going to add off, you hear it? Yep, good. Nice and hot. Putting my, um, even too hot. Uh, putting my um, celery in. This is my bowl number three. Oh, holy, so many vegetables. So, how fun. I also have a uh, carrot, and you would like to use maybe four carrots. I actually harvest my carrots from my garden. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have my carrots. So, I am super, super excited. So, with that, um, Celery. I'm gonna also add carrot and I have olive of oil. There we go. And my onion and my my onion and my uh, bacon are going nicely. You know, I am going to cover them. I'm going to cover them so they are going to be going a little bit faster, softer together because the next thing, next step uh, in the pan, we're going to add our chunks of our beef. Um, uh, also, I have four or five peppers and I did bought uh, those um, mm, you know, you can buy uh, spicy peppers. I just bought sweet peppers and a red and yellow. So I'm gonna add the peppers to my, I'm gonna add my peppers to my vegetables. Very nice. Mix it. This looks so beautiful. This looks very, very colorful. Let me get my meat. And I wanted to show you my beautiful, what is my other mitten? Who knows? I'm telling you, I'm tired. Right. Look how beautiful. Isn't that lovely? I love it. I love it. We're making harga. Hungarian goulash from the kitchen of first king of Poland, Bolesław Chrobry. Bolesław Probrym, Bolesławiec is the name from the first name of the first king of Poland. So gorgeous, right? Thank you, Jacqueline. I found things like that really, really beautiful. So this was my, what was in here? One, two, three, four, five balls. I'm telling you, I've never too much balls. Five balls. Oh, I think this is going to be a work for my dishwasher, not for my husband doing the dishes this time. And now <clears throat> I'm going to check on my onion. I'm going to check on my onion in here. And with that, oh, smells so good. This is my bacon and onion. And if you are lucky enough and you have swanina, who know what swanina is? My husband's favorite. There we go. Are you cooking with me? Are you cooking with me, Rita? Your probably is different, a little bit different. It's like with bigos. Every single goulash is a little bit different. So I am going to add my meats right now to it. I'm going to add my meats. There we go. All right, go on again, mix, 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 oh nice, and in this pot I am going to 
add a little bit more. What I gonna do? I have very nice and spicy uh, Italian spices with red hot red peppers and some um, basil. So I gonna put that. The original recipe call for red pepper, Hungarian pepper, one fourth of the cup. One fourth of the cup. Um, it's like a bacon, but it is called suonina. Is that part of fat just under the skin, at the belly skin? How we call for it in English? How we call for it? I'm gonna add this in here as well. And um, the recipe call for a uh, four cloves or garlic. But I brought from Poland very nice garlic cubes and because I have such a hard time, pork belly. Thank you, Loretta. I just, you see, thank you so much for having my back. Um, and actually, a good pork belly is pretty expensive. I mean, in European store. And I'm going to add the garlic to my vegetables. A little bit, one in two vegetables and one to my um, meat too. I'm just gonna check on there. Oh, they look so happy, so beautifully. Uh, the colors are perfect. These are the most beautiful colors. I love how colorful is my inside of my pan. So I have chosnek, uh, condensed chosnek powder. Uh, you can use um, if you are lucky, but look, it's just, I don't have luck to the garlic. I am so disappointed with the garlic this year. So I'm going to put two of those, but you want about four uh, clo uh, cloves or uh, four to seven, depends how big. Uh, of garlic and I am going to add those to my meats. I'm gonna stir my meats. Now <clears throat> what you will add to your uh, vegetables in the same time you will add about three to four chopped potatoes. I want potatoes. They are on no no my diet. So some of the recipes with Hungarian goulash have potatoes. Some recipes are calling for you see it's powder. It's just that's a pow garlic powder. It's just in the cubes. Um, some of them are calling for a uh, um, pasta. That's just little you know little uh, little pastas uh, uh, like those little. I don't know how you call it, half circles. Um, so, um, pasta is not on my diet neither. So, what I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna wait a little bit, I'm gonna use a roasted uh, squash because I we have lots of squash, we have lots of squash, we have lots of pumpkins, and elbow macaroni. Thank you, Jane Deer. That's right. I'm telling you, I am ready for nap. It's just not me. It's not me. But that's all right. You guys keep me going. That's awesome. All right. Well, we have pretty big stressor at my family. My uh, uh, one of uh, the kids, my daughter, grew up on. Uh, I was killed in a car accident two days ago and we're having a hard time uh, with her coping with that. So I'm kind of not where I should be with my head uh, because I am just a mom who is worried. Because she is right now just do not want to even get up off the bed. So it's one of this when uh, life things happen and, uh, and you just have to deal with it. And that's where I am at. So I think I am down to a little bit. So, so if you guys, um, I think I'm better now. Uh, I don't like the kid. The kid wasn't a good kid. It was a 
big trouble key, but this is nothing you will wish for anybody. So trouble, trouble, and just tragedy. So we kind of have hard time to uh, find our feelings about everything. So uh, sometimes life is hard, uh, but that's uh, when you neither cook or you bake or you just try to move on, right? I know. So anyway, thank you guys. Anyway, um, you will put potatoes right now, but I gonna show you how beautiful my vegetables are. And I know I have few people I want to call. I have Loretta to call, and I have a sale to uh, call or text or. I cannot even focus on anything, even on the reading. So, just give me a few more days, I will be fine. I will get back on that horse of life. <laughs> and um, you see, you have that brown thing on the bottom. Don't let this uh, too much to be too browny. But you see how the vegetables are starting getting beautiful color. And look at that colors. And oh, my carrots, my homegrown carrots are starting getting roasted in here, which means they are getting a little bit, uh, and they are getting soft. So I'm gonna let this a little bit longer, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, add some caraway seeds because Hungarian goulash call for caraway seeds. And at that much of um, of my vegetables, na oko, I don't like too much, but I like some. And I'm gonna uh, get that wonderful um, Dutch oven going for me. There we go. So have your mittens because you are uh, dealing with hot pans with high temperature of grease. You won't make sure nobody is around you like big hairy gas sticking his nose where he shouldn't because it this is hot. This is hot. So um thank you guys. Thank you for understanding. I just it's not like me and I it's really getting to me. This is why I don't want to move and I have to motivate myself. Um all right, so Look what is happening with my meats. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna show you how lovely my meats look like. Look at that. So those meats are still a little bit too red for me. Uh, so I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer. So now you know why the pork belly is important in here. So they're gonna a little bit uh, kind of sit in that pork belly. But... Um, You can hear it, everything going, and I still have my tomatoes, and I also have the tomato paste, because you're going to need, in the last step, the tomato paste. Um, what I'm going to use, guys, I'm going to use also the uh, spicy pepper, and uh, I do not have, um, I use it all. I used to have like tons of it, I use it all and I forgot restock uh, Hungarian pe pepper, the red pepper, a uh, ground pepper, uh, that's what you want, would like to use as well, but I have what called Chuberica Cervona, which is pretty close, so let's go call this my red pepper, nice and spicy, oh, let me close that. All right, and I'm gonna add it to my veggies. About a teaspoon. Oh, the veggies are getting nice. So I'm gonna let the veggies steam maybe another two minutes or so, and I'm gonna add my uh, I'm gonna add my squash. And I'm gonna add to the meats another spoon of that. Oh, this is nice. It smells so good. My poor dogs, they're gonna go crazy in here. 
They really, it was no way to take any of them with my husband to other parts of the house. They are in here. They are ready. They are. All right. Okay. So, um, also recipes are calling for a little bit of the broth. And uh, the best one is beef broth because we are using beef. But I have a little bit of my chicken broth. And if you have a piece of chickens, you can use chickens too. You can use a mixed meat as well. Hello, Lisa, how are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. And Lois is watching, how you doing, Miss Lois? So good to see you. And please say hello to the boys, uh, to my wonderful Nicholas, who is growing so fast. Fast. I cannot believe how tall he is. I saw him two years ago uh, when I was traveling through Chicago and uh, and he was like half size and soon he's gonna be taller than everybody else, right? Uh, so uh, let me just, I think I got everything. So we have our onions with uh, pork belly and bacon and add our chopped beef. Thank you, Lois, chopped beef, and they are steaming in here. We have in our Dutch oven, I put olive of oil, I use my uh, avocado oil. So, oh yeah, and look what is happening, you see? This is why, this is why you should have your broth, because this is a little bit too, Sticky, so sticky. So, uh -huh. and your vegetables are not soft yet. The Hungarian goulash is kind of soup type of dish. So we're gonna add a little bit of the broth to it. We're gonna add a little bit of the broth. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put all the goodies inside. It's been so good. Oh, it smells so nicely. And now those veggies going to be stirring, stirring in, getting nice and soft. And I am going to add my squash. What I did with my squash in my oven, I just slice it, put some butter on, and it's semi-soft. It's not soft, 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 but it's also not um, hard. So one, two, three, four, five, six balls already. And I gonna mix this all. So this will be your potatoes, right? But those potatoes will be up a little bit sooner than I am adding the squash because the squash is semi, is a little roasted. So it is a, um, oh, this looks so pretty. So it is softer. I'm going to show you how pretty it is. You can add a little bit of garlic if you are roasting. You can put some basil on. Re really, really nice. This looks so beautiful. So let's go check on the meats. Ah, looking good. I think we are good. Oh, smells so good. I am going to smush the tomatoes and I am going to add to my um, meats and onions. So if you guys have any questions, go for it. I try to check um, so what we're gonna do we are going to smush the tomatoes and um, don't remember what I did with my knife but that's okay so I am just going to cut the tomatoes on the chunks I want all looks good thank you Lisa smells good I love the color really pretty you know, I don't worry about the color. This is my grown home tomatoes. I'm not gonna throw away. It is going to smush it. It is going to be smushy. 
Otherwise, Cory will eat it. She will eat any vegetable. <laughs> what are the meats? The meats are beef. Uh, the meats are um, uh, chunks of beef. You can use the shoulders. Um, you can use the, um, you can carve them yourself, or you can use uh, the pre-cut chunks. I use beef. I use beef. Uh -huh. What is that? Hold on just a second. I think I have in here boneless beef stew meat. Just boneless beef stew meat. That's what I use. Um, and um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I am going to smush them. What are they gonna smush in? I'm gonna add them to the. I'm gonna add the tomatoes to my meats. There we go. A little bit more juicy. A little bit more of the flavor. Some recipes. Bowl number seven. Some recipes call for sauerkraut. And you will add the sauerkraut to the meats if you want to add sauerkraut. Um, time to time I have people who swear goulash have to have sauerkraut. Uh, and time to time I have people who will argue with you that goulash have to have pasta in. Well, really is what you have. Goulash is seasonal dish. So whatever you have, you have potatoes, you put potatoes. You can squash, you put squash. Uh, you do not have to. And if you have all, you put it all. And that's it, right? So all these beautiful things are cooking for us in here. Oh, this looks so lovely. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna taste it. If everything, oh, this is so nice. This is really, really nice. I'm gonna give this minute or so. A little bit longer. I'm gonna see. You know, I have the bacon, um, which is naturally a charcoal, a hickory bacon, and sometimes bacon is enough salty. So I will wait with adding salt till the time you're gonna combine your meats with your vegetables, um, because. You just don't know. You don't want to go too much on the salt, right? And we are going to uh, prepare our prepare our uh, pasta, our tomato pasta. And what I'm gonna do? As you guys know, for all the good Polish people. We are gonna use every little bit of our homemade broth, right? So I am going to just give it a splash of uh, my jar and get all the goodies out. There we go. We're gonna get our pasta. If you have koziołek, use koziołek. So I have the smallest tomato pasta, tomato paste, uh, the smallest uh, container. This one is, um, <laughs> I am looking, uh, okay, six ounces, six ounces. There we go. We're just gonna get all the pasta and we're gonna let this, we're gonna put this over our meat. So it's gonna get that nice. I'm not good doing a good job with it. I have so much left. That's not good. No. So with the kozioek, we're gonna mix it. If you have tomato paste from your garden, it will be even better. I made so much, uh, so many of my pasta paste, tomato paste. And I brought some to Paula. <laughs> I gave it to my friends. 
I am out. I have only two jars of tomato juice uh, for the soup, for a uh, tomato soup. Look how beautiful, you see, nice. And I am going to get some in here. Ah. There we go. All right, good. Make a mess, yep. Okay, if you have some uh, somebody to help you, yeah? like uh, Lois will have maybe Nicholas, he will like that messy part. <laughs> Kids love to get messy, and it's okay, let them. So they are not gonna be afraid. So they're gonna know what to do if something happens. Okay, mm. Mm. delicious. What I will do, I will add a pepper in here. And what is that tool you are using? What I'm using is called Kozioek. Uh, this is a wooden tool we are using for sauces, uh, for mixing. And not every part of Poland know it because uh, my friends from Bolesławie have no idea what Kozioek is. But it is, I'm gonna, a tool sometimes have like the wooden sticks each way so when you make sauces and you just kind of um, move this around it mix perfectly so you can use um, you can use any of your mixing uh, but kozioek matołek that's right say kozioek matołek all polish um, uh, story tale but let me check what's going on in my meats. Let me check what's going on in my vegetables first. Oh, vegetables are good. Nice and smooshy. Very good. And I am going to uh, give it a splash of vegeta because I like it. Handful. You have yours uh, spices to go, spices you like to go. There we go. And let's go check the meat. Oh, the meat look very pretty. I just gonna add the hot pepper in here. Let me just give it a nice mix. Oh, this looks very nice. And it's starting getting that brown other um, onions are starting looking brown brown as well on the edges so let me get that hot pepper where is my pepper mm, i know i have it ah pieprz ognisty means a fire pepper <laughs> um some people like goulash to be a uh, pretty uh, spicy pretty hot I am going to do no okay. I will say half teaspoon max. Half teaspoon max. And now I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna show you how beautifully gonna mix it. Let me just prepare my uh, place. Okay, I want you to see it. I want you to see it because that stove is amazing. Yes, thank you. It is original 1950 American chamber fire engine red. I was so lucky. I, and that's gas drinking. He's drink a whole. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put our paste with our meat. And also you can add water as well to your mixture. So with that pot, with my um, uh, with my Dutch oven, it's getting pretty thick over there. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add warm water to my um, dish in here. And look, oh no, this was oily, drinking all this water. 
Okay, mix, mix, mix. Very nice here. Smells so good. Mmm, good. Yummy. Whoa, it's spicy. Oh my goodness. My husband don't know all, but I am not. Okay, some water. Oh my goodness, that's spicy. That pepper. Woo! I'm gonna glue that a little bit. Ah! Everybody at work gonna like it. They all gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I am not so much. I cannot get spicy. All right. So, we we'll cover that a little bit. We add that water to our veggies with all this tomato pasta. There we go. Very nice. We can put also one of the bay leaves. There we go. And I don't want this to be too smooshy and I am using, as you guys know, oh, I found two of them, good. As you guys know, I use my, um, I use my uh, squash, so it's getting pretty smooshy. So vegetables are nice and soft. So I think we are about ready to combine those two together. There we go. There we go. Nice. Let's give it this nice stir. Oh, so nice. And cook it for another 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> it is gonna to be okay. I, I am just super sensitive to spicy and this is a spicy dish. Of course, you don't have to make it very spicy. But you know, I didn't put a lot of salt, so I just gonna oh this is so nice oh yes look at my Hungarian goulash you can add noodles to it and I just gonna let this cook for a little bit and it's almost ready any questions very comfortable very comf uh, comfort food mm -hmm. oh this is good no need for salt Mm -mm. And if I would like to dilute a little bit, I will get a little bit more uh, water. I still have some paste, so that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Oh, you hear? My pot is going strong. This is great. This is really good. I'm so glad I have that date with you all at my kitchen otherwise i will be sitting and worrying okay oh you see all washed off Aha. we are not gonna use waste anything we're gonna use every single bit beautiful oh this is so pretty a little bit more in here just a little bit. Very nice. And now this can cook for about 10 minutes or so. Your meat is soft already. It's just a matter of blending the flavor. But what I am going to do I'm going to take a bowl number eight. Oh, this is lovely. Aha. And let's go see how well we did. Let's go see if this is good enough. Do I have like no spoon? I don't. All right. 
So, this is nice. I just want to try it. Good. I will even not add salt, but check. Check, um, let it set, walk away, let uh, cool off, try it, and then heat up one more time. You may want to leave it right now. And I, that's what I'm gonna do. I just, because the Dutch oven, um, uh, the Dutch oven is a um, so hot. If you're gonna leave it right now, even if this is not on the fire, your stove is not work, uh, is not on. It's still gonna sustain that temperature. So a very very a fantastic way. Let cool off. Go and watch something, and then before you're gonna go to bed. Put this pot to your refrigerator and the next day reheat it and then try if you need to add any spices you will know it is gonna be just perfect and yes I import ceramics from Apollon directly we do have on our app a surrounding Polish pottery is free app on app only we have $99 free shipping every order we have coupon code GULASH, G-U-L-A-S-H, for a bowl collection. Uh, buy one, get one 50% off. I use eight bowls, include that one. Look how beautiful. Uh, this is my dinner. I'm going to eat it. Uh, so um, uh, get your bowls. Uh, make sure you have plenty for your uh, Thanksgiving gathering. And uh, it is good, Janice. Also, oh, it's so good to see you, Janice. Janice Bacardi Capra, how are you doing? So thank you for answering our uh, questions. Uh, I say uh, I miss it. And uh, yes, I am in Kentucky. Um, I am in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we ship all over the United States. Uh, we have $14.99 flat shipping from midnight to midnight. So from midnight to 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you pay one flat shipping, and no matter how much pattern you buy or how many orders you make. Just please make sure you always check before you check uh, your, in, uh, your card. Uh, check uh, if the address is correct. If you want buy something, and ship to somebody else because we are getting to uh, the gifting season and we have lots of ideas for gifts and since next week I'm gonna be popping two three times a week and giving you 15 minutes little great deals on the little stockings and little gifts uh, so if you want to ship something to somebody else make sure that uh, items are on the one separate order don't tell me I want uh, uh, one ball and one mark from order of five items to go somewhere else is impossible. We cannot do that. But uh, if you want to uh, buy like two balls or one or mark or whatever and ship to somebody, just make sure you change the address before you uh, pay so uh, our system will recognize that everything is automatically. So everything is like with every website you buy from you have to put the correct address so we can ship it to it. If you, for some reason, got stuck or whatever, put on the notes, put on the notes. If uh, things are not working for you or you cannot figure out in the notes section, you can put, and then uh, if you have any questions or any consideration about orders, message by a messenger on, faith, on Facebook, on our Surroundings Polish Pottery Messenger, always give me your invoice number you also can use our email address uh, uh, info at polish uh, pottery .com. so thank you so much i hope uh rita my mom's servant is over egg noodle yes so that's what i said you can get the the noodles with it well you see this tells you it fits uh, for longer time your family fits more people uh christopher this uh today when i pop in on a uh, lunch hour uh christopher Guziewicz, uh, he says that uh, in his family they serve hungarian hungarian goulash over potato cakes so all this is depends what part of what region of poland or Hungary you are. So, who was the first king of the Poland? 
who remember who remember i am going to uh, who remember the name of his first king of poland let me just see if i can type it i'm gonna type it let's swap and i'm gonna put in polish Bolesław Chrobry, first king of Poland, who introduced Hungarian goulash to Polish cuisine. So, uh, Loretta, I just, I just pulled that Bolesław Chrobry, so that he, you hear is CH is CH, that's Polish orthography, not easy. Uh, so now, no, no, Bolesław Chrobry is a first king of the Poland, and this is 9th century when part of um, uh, hung, uh, Hungary was uh, part uh, was. Uh, um, uh, territorials of Poland. So he put the Hungarian goulash as a national dish in his kitchen menu. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy. My dish look delicious. There we go. It looks really, really yummy. I didn't use potatoes. I use squash, which is fine. You can see the carrots. You can see the meats. All good. And um, I hope you all have, I hope you all have a lovely evening and I will see you on a Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get yourself some balls, get yourself some balls, use coupon code GULASH, there we go, G -u -a. GULASH kind of English way and this one is now I need to go to English buy one get one 50 percent off 50 percent off from collection collection balls on up only if i can spell ball not bio those and up only with $99 for shipping. So with that, if you're gonna have $99, <clears throat> you're gonna use your coupon code, get also some bakers because it is worth it with the free shipping, right? Okay, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy it. Please share this recipe. Uh, Sharing is loving, sharing is caring. Uh, try a Hungarian goulash. Uh, do the recipe your way. Do it potatoes or out. Uh, do it the pasta or out. Do it the sauerkraut without. Enjoy it. Cook together. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Peace, love, and Polish pottery. Bye.